Hi all, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. It is Tuesday, June 1st, 2010, and I hope everybody had a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. Once again, I want to thank all the brave men and women who gave their lives and who are out there risking their lives to make sure that I can do things like this and each one of you can watch something like this. So thank you very much. And for those of you who may have noticed, no, I did not get LASIK or I'm not wearing contacts. My glasses are in the other room and I really, really hurt my knee badly over the weekend and uh, just kind of hobbling around so it was just easier to do without them for now. So here we go. 4G works. It's fast, but is it outstripped by hype? And here's the situation. We're gonna, you're going to start seeing ads, a large amount of ads. Uh, Sprint has already done this for the 4G network. Verizon's going to be plastering everything with it. This article that I put on here, really, really, I've been trying to explain this. Uh, for since I started this, this really breaks down exactly how 4G works, what it was to a very, very simple matter, why Sprint and Verizon are moving to the 4G while T-Mobile and AT&T are just upgrading their 3G and why they have to do that. Um, so it's, it, it really is something to take a look at and it's a great explanation. Uh, also, just to let you know, the iPhone that's being announced probably this week with the 4.0 or the 4G iPhone. It's not for the 4G network, it's the fourth generation of iPhone. So it's not actually a 4G, it's not gonna run on a 4G network in other words, um, but it will be the fourth generation. They're not calling it the iPhone 4G either, they're probably calling it the iPhone 4.0 or whatever they're gonna do it. So you'll see that. Next article is from uh, Kim Commando, which is a great, great website for technical information and other stuff. You might want to check that out. But secure cell phone before disposing of it. This is very, very important. Um, there, in, on most phones, there is a master reset that will pretty much wipe out everything back to the original uh, configuration of the phone and take out all your information. But for security purposes, I would on it, ha absolutely recommend that you wipe out everything. There's a couple of software you can do that. Um, one called uh, Data Eraser and um, it, it, uh, there's a link on there to, to take you to the website for Recellular.com and they will wipe, it'll show you how to completely wipe out everything on your cell phone before you get rid of it. Now, what you do when you have, when you want to get rid of that phone, find a charity uh, and there's a number of them. One of the best ones that I've ever worked with, and I've personally sent phones to them, is called Cell Phone for Soldiers. And I put the link on there also, again, that'll take you right to the website. Then you can send your phone, and what they do is they basically take the phones apart, recycle the parts that they can, and then take that money and buy phone cards for sol soldiers overseas. Uh, there's battered women's shelters that do the same type of things. Just to let you know, most of the phones that are recycled, I'm going to say most, not all, are not actually used again because uh, they don't care what condition the phone is in. They take, take them apart, whatever parts that they can recycle, they do, and then they take that money and put it towards the programs they do. A lot of uh, uh, charities out there, check them out. It's a great way to do that. Under the category of be careful what you ask for, all you iPhone users who have been complaining that the iPhone can't multitask, uh, supposedly the rumor is that the new iPhone 4.0 operating system that's going to be on the new iPhones that are coming out this summer are going to have the ability to multitask. However, like I said, be careful what you ask for. They're not sure that the system has the capacity to handle that. You, there's been you've seen reports about how the system goes down, whether it's AT&T or someplace else, under the normal use because of the amount of iPhones are doing it. Well, now multiply that by three and four times if three or four, if everybody's using three or four applications. And I know not everybody's going to use three or four applications at the same time. However, this is a situation that could be kind of serious. So you do want to keep an eye out on this. If you do get one of the new iPhones and you notice that for some reason the capacity or the phone's uh, losing, you're, you're getting knocked out of things, browsers and phone calls and stuff like that, that could be a situation, of course, at t is spending billions of dollars to try to build out their network to do this. Uh, this is also one of the reasons why the iPhone was, was uh, rumored to go to uh, uh, Verizon because uh, they have, do have the capacity for that. But as, as I said on Friday's broadcast, there's a number of reasons why that's not going to happen also. So uh, take a look at that. And lastly, um, the cell phone in a new role, the loyalty card. And there's companies now that have come out, there's a number of software companies, which I'll tell you in a second, that are, you know the card that Subway had where they punch it 10 times or the donut shops had it, Starbucks had it where they punch it 10 times and then you get something free? 
they're trying to get rid of those cards and put it to the cell phone. So you don't have to fumble for your card to lose the cards, whatever it is. You'll have the information in your cell phone. There's a couple of uh, co companies, Looped, Foursquare, Shopkick, and Gowalla, which are startup companies that are using these. Most of you have probably heard, especially Foursquare, where it's a di direction there. You go someplace and you can get information from there. But what these companies are trying to do is kind of bridge the gap between the digital and the physical world on cell phones, and they do it by using a game, basically. Um, prime example, Stanford is using Looped. Uh, over this uh, over the past gra over the graduation weekend, students check into two official school events and then they get a prize. Uh, it will also help them because it takes tracks their information to help follow and find extra alumni. Um, Loot is also with Starbucks and they get you know, frequent customers to Starbucks get an honorary barista badge, which Foursquare also has. In fact, Foursquare goes one step further if you become the mayor that Starbucks you actually get a dollar off I think a Frappuccino um, so something like that uh, Sh Shopkick is working with Best Buy and Macy's and then Gowalla is working with International Continental Ho Hotel Group and when you you when you check in to Gowalla into the hotels from this group um, they're giving customers gift cards and airline miles to the loyal customers the New Jersey Nets through Goala actually gave prizes like jersey and tickets to fans who checked into the arena or sports bars to watch the game through the phone. Now, of course, if anybody follows basketball in the New Jersey, Net, New Jersey Nets, they need to give anything away they can to get people in there because, unfortunately, they, they did not do too well this year. Um, but also remember that with all of this, the companies are also taking your information to send you coupons and stuff. I don't, they're not going to spam you, but they are going to use that to their advantage to send coupons and discounts and stuff. Some of you are going to like that, some of you won't. Under categories, the iPad has announced that they've sold 2 million units worldwide in less than 60 days. Check out the article. Skype launches a new 3G voiceover application for iPhone. A couple of new things to that, so check that out. And a new free app, WebMD, for the iPad. So, as always, for everything else, check out www.phonescholar.com for all your news and information, and have a great day.